Hey, hello everyone. A beautiful portrait today. A child. She's looking up, prospectively. This is a nose, eye, line, um, eye socket, eye socket, and the lip. Uh, it is a digital art, and it's um, very skillfully done, I must admit. It's very attractive, actually, when you see the picture itself. Um, so, the main fundamental question about this is to, um, to just to start getting ahead and putting the things in perspective correctly. Let's say the ear looks really low because she's looking up. And as she's looking up, everything moves down. Looking up, so we have this angle here. Hmm? Let's establish this before we do anything else. And then uh, eye, eye socket. Uh, um, and then mm, nostril, it's a child, so let's keep that in mind. And um, again, because again, because she's looking up, this lip, it's quite thick, it, or it looks thick, it gives the impression of being really, really thick. But that's because this area, it's the closest to us, all right? So this is it, it's the closest to us. Then you have a shadow here. And and then you have the uh, eye here. Right here. Now this eye, this eye is lower than this eye. There's an angle there. Look, see, that's lower. Oh, because it's looking it's looking up obviously as she's looking up and also we have as I said we have the uh, the, the perspective which is playing around here keep that in mind and then you have the eye coming close close to the nostril the nostril itself is here it's all dark I'll use the brush for that today. See, just to soften things. I'm trying not to use my finger today. Well, I mean, as much as possible, really. Because what I'm going to do is to take to take dust from here, and dust, and then move it up. And here as well. There we are. And this one as well. And underneath. Here. Again, take that with dust. Move it up here. Upper lip. Lower lip. And all this dark shade in here that's also now there's a light coming on this side which I'm trying to respect and not do anything here because that's a light area you'll see on the picture and also not to put too much dark there and then the eyebrow Move it down, move the shading down, and uh, I'm trying to get rid of all the white of the, of the paper, except, as I said, except the areas which are really, really bright, or where you have the highlights, really. That's what I mean by bright, highlights. Neck. And the hair. 
it just moves it down here. So I'm leaving the brush and the dust. Chin, sorry, jaw, neck. So here is neck. Then again, lip. Darkest bit here, and then see it's so much easier when you do it with a with a brush. So it gives you a beautiful half tone, which you can later on darken it, work with it. So it's actually it's in your it's in your favor to use the brush this way. If you don't want to use the brush, you can use the chamois. If you don't have chamois. Anything will work, anything will do, even paper. Um, toilet paper you could do, yes. Or the, what that called, the um, kitchen paper, kitchen towel would do. And then lines here. And uh, ear. Here, and then here, darks. I see there's a block, just a block of darks, really. So I'm using horizontal lines, vertical lines, and I think I had to go with that neck a little bit further out, as the neck is right here. It's just, it's at the same angle or line with the ear, and the ear is right here, so the ear, the end of the ear, so the line underneath the lower lower lip. And dark here. Mm. Four. Um. I. That's the hmm, the eye, uh, the eye. Um, well, the eyebrow and the eye cavity. Then you have the eye here. And then, what is important is to make that shade in here really dark. As I said, remember that line here that I told earlier. I said earlier. Well, I spoke earlier about it. Now, first of all, everything is dark here. Let's do that. And then I'll use the brush again, don't worry. Because it's coming a little bit too harsh. But I'll use the brush again. And there's a line which actually tells us, the viewer and the artist itself, this is it. That's the line. Don't cross that line. Now, you know, it will tantalize you because you will think, you know, oh my God, what do I do here? There's nothing here on this side of the face, so leave it, leave it blank. Don't do anything. You're not supposed to do anything. That's a little bit to learn a little bit of, you know, influenced by modern art. It's been left on purpose, really. As I said, it's, um, it's a tool. You don't have to do or to work on that side of the, of the face. Everything is there. You don't have to, you know, to, to worry more than what you have already done. There's no need for that. Now, the neck here. You could go a little bit more this way. Yes, a bit more neck that side. And she's more rounded. And some... Hmm? Shade in here, shadows. Cannot leave it without that. Obviously, that's the that's the light illuminates the face, and the rest is in shadow. Uh, a beautiful, childish, rounded face. Then you have a little bit more hair here. Mm. And as I said, coming back here, 
and saying this is it do not touch that area anymore I mean don't go over over this line or over this side dark beautiful eyes wide open as a child will have a little bit of hmm? now there is no eye bag of course on a child but you need but the form is there although we do not have the eye bag but we do have the form there and light highlight here as I said highlight here and a straight line as I said this is the line which is do not cross we don't need that and darks here okay yeah a little bit of hmm? horizontal lines and not to forget do you remember that i said these are the two this is where the light illuminates the face mostly okay now uh, i've done it on purpose gone over the area where i shouldn't go just to show you that not to be afraid you control the artwork the artwork should not control us sometimes it does maybe most of the times it does but we should not allow that okay so again we are in control or at least we try to be in control of what we do. Again, beautiful, large eyes, childish, innocent eyes, large. I'm back here. It's the artwork this way that, yes, we need to emphasize this. And on this side as well, yes, beautiful. And then emphasize the nose. Let's go back to the nose, back and forth. Again, darken where we need to darken, which is this area, the nostril itself, the nostril on this side. And then um, again, on this side, make the nostril on that side a little bit wider lip lip and then this beautiful eye here and I said leave it here there is no need to do anything there there is no need that it is not required from us because there's nothing there to do um, It's good to work, as I said, after other artists, as some of their works are amazingly beautiful, like this one. And it helps us a lot to work. This is pure form. And because it's such a difficult portrait to work on a child, it's very daunting for most people. People, will, Lots of people will not even touch children. I mean, even professional artists, they will, unless it's a commission. So that very, it's very encouraging the way that it's been worked. This one is very, f really free, almost, from any restraints. And, and uh, doubt. Okay, do I do that on a child? Should I do this or should I work it like this? Or you can work it the way you like it, basically. And it's still a child. Albeit, I, I would have worked it better if I had more time. But I'm still struggling with this phone. 
the memory, which I've deleted a lot, but it's not letting me record more than what? Well, I hope I will have time to finish this one. And you have it here. Uh, round it. And then, uh, and then some highlight on the nose. Tick, tick. And tick there. And obviously, huh? the eyelid. Eyelid one, eyelid two. And some highlight on this side of the eyelid there because you have light coming from this side. You will have noticed by now. And forehead on this side, a bit more rounded, a bit more rounded, come on. Yeah, that's it, a bit more rounded. And maybe, maybe this is too strong, so I'm just softly getting rid of it. I could easily darken that a bit more. Okay, it's looking okay. Pretty much in character, although not 100%, but close. I always aim for 100% and I never get it, but it doesn't matter. At least I'm trying. Uh, yeah, charcoal jumped. Not too much hair. Forget, don't forget, the hair here you don't see a lot because the head is moving upwards. It's coming towards us like this. Uh, so, but this side of the head, which means you see less of that. Okay, we're clear about that. Yeah, that's a better line. And I'm just inventing here. I don't see any line here, but I would say it's about there if you were to do any line. And the neck as well would be something like this. But I'll leave it for the time being. And I like that highlight that I have here. It's beautiful because again it reinforces the idea of light this side light here okay amigos a little bit of highlight on this side of the lip and a little bit more on here a little bit more darks Darks are your friend. They're not against us. Darks are beautiful. They make the work shine. <laughs> they help us a lot. Darks are essential as they make, they create volume for us. And on a 2D surface, like we have here, darks are extremely important. Nina, I'm sure you will hear this. A bit more darks. Darken it, Nina, as much as you can. And Penny. Just use more darks. Don't be afraid. At the, at the end of the day, you can go back and forth and uh, st or start a new one, a new drawing altogether. Why not? Look, I'm adding this light, which is not there. And everyone who is afraid of darks, I just cannot remember anyone now, but except Nina and Penny. 
But again, don't be afraid to use darks. Jenny's getting way better with the darks. And David. And David. I must admit, everybody's improving. But I know what happened with the darks. The brain says, do it, do it. But the hand says, no. Don't. I know. I am aware of that. So I leave you when it, whenever it is the time, whenever you feel ready. And if you're not ready, it's always time. It's always time. There's always will be a time that you will feel comfortable of using darks. Okay, I'll leave that for the time being. I think he's all right. Uh, a little bit more rounded here, maybe. Yeah, more rounded here. I've uh, done her a little bit older, I must admit. I emphasize the um, pupil. A little bit of a higher half tone around here, underneath. Okay, see you on the next one. What's the date today? It's the 19th. Okay, see you on the next one.